So uh, this one is just basically a review of this framework that I thought I've been using it for about uh, one year already. Okay, so who has actually not heard about the framework that I thought? So everyone heard about it, the rest of people. Okay, so only a few people not heard about it, right? Okay, so uh, what is this framework laptop? So uh, framework laptop actually was, uh, it's a first product from this company called Framework. Okay, so it's a very new company founded only two years ago. Okay, so the founder is from a former head of hardware, Oculus. Uh, okay, so the goal of this company is to make repairable products. Okay, so it's their first product, right? It's actually the framework uh, laptop. They released it uh, last year, the first model. Okay, so... And then uh, earlier this year, they released another uh, second model, okay? So for the specifications for its uh, latest model, right? Okay, so the top part uh, pretty much the same, similar to what you will find in most other uh, machines, okay? So the in terms of connector-wise, right, this laptop has four Thunderbolt ports, okay? So I right here is up with upcoming for update because officially it, this machine only just went through Intel certification. So, uh, now is classified as Thunderbolt capable, okay? And the cool thing on this laptop is that you don't have to buy all the parts at once. Uh, you can actually uh, choose to order this laptop without the Wi-Fi adapter, without RAM, without the SSD, and without the operating system. <laughs> then you can choose to just order the bare minimum, and then you just order the rest by yourself. Let's say you got a favorite SSD that you want, okay, then you don't have to order the SSD from them. So, then if you don't want, you don't like Windows, then you just order without Windows, you save the cost, right? Yeah. Okay, so very good. As you can see, these are the stuff inside there. No matter what, you can order without the, SS without the SSD, without the RAM, okay, without the Wi-Fi card. Okay. So the three aims of repairability. To, classi to, be, to classify a product as being repairable, you need three things. You, first, the product must be designed to be repairable, okay? The instructions must be available and you must have the spare parts available, okay? So for repairability, right, this laptop is extremely modular. So which means like, for example, this motherboard, right, you can just easily take it out. In most other laptops, uh, it's very difficult to take out the motherboard. You pretty much must dismantle everything to, to replace the motherboard, but not so for the framework laptop. Right? You can see I just remove it like that. So simple. Okay? They give it, give it extra screws. So the extra screws are inside the laptop. So in case you lose the screws, you just take from there. No way. <laughs> <laughs> I am safety to yeah. 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 Sometimes they are repairing they can keep the screws there. Yeah. Okay. One screwdriver to open it. They even give you the screwdriver when you order the laptop. So one screwdriver, right? Actually, there is two bits here, right? You can open every single thing. So I pass the screwdriver. Yeah. <laughs> yeah okay so modular ports so this laptop right doesn't insist that you fix the port position to one side look for example here right i'm hdmi right i put here i just move it i can just switch to the other side if i don't like it right let's say if i want my hdmi port to be the other side just take out so so very easy like that so all the ports are thunderbolt capable okay so you can swap with usb c usb a hdmi this port internet and micro sd so I pass that all back here. I don't express. You can take a look at the modular port. <laughs> hey, I want them back. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's the internet. The internet is a bit special. It's slightly bigger than the rest. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so the next thing, repair instructions, right? So what's the point of having a modular repairable machine if you do not know how to repair it? So Framework has gladly publicized all their repair guides. Let's say you want to repair any particular thing. For example, you want to replace let's say the main board which is the usually for most laptops the hardest to, re to replace right they provide a guide for that okay so everything is really like i, I fix it uh. they give everything they access to spare parts okay so let's say if really the part is spoiled it requires to be replaced right they offer all the spare parts on their website so for example your keyboard spoiled like you spill water on it right they so just order another keyboard from them right you don't have to like find spare parts or somewhere or, or replace the whole laptop you can even see that even the hinge also they have, the fan also they have. They are really almost everything. You can rebuild the entire laptop from the spare parts. <laughs> okay, so they are also uh, very into open source. So for example, right, the interface schematics, right, are actually also available on their website. 
Okay, I need to refresh the page. Okay, so you can see. I don't know which other laptop manufacturer provide this. Uh. I'm not sure really. Yeah, but you see, they, they provide this. Yeah. So in case you really want to go out to the to repair the board itself, right? Yeah, you can look into it. Okay. Yeah, but it's not official, right? It's a bit. <laughs> Somewhere. Not really legal, uh, I think. <laughs> yeah. But this one, they officially do it. They just give it to you. Okay. Then uh, even the embedded controller firmware. Oh, sorry. I think you can use by into Yeah. So they provide. It's open source. So even though for some reason you have to modify the firmware, you can do it. Okay. They even provide a 3D printed enclosure, the, the, the design, which I have here over there. Okay. So let's say, right, if you upgrade your, your laptop, then you have your own motherboard there. What can you do with it, right? You can just pretty print the enclosure. Uh, I, I can't pass it around. It's a bit too fragile. Right? So I put it in front. <laughs> okay. 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 It's okay. Yeah, it's not meant to move around so often. Yeah, so you can put the older motherboard inside. Then use a single board computer. Yeah. Okay, so some drawbacks of this machine, right? Yeah, so for my experience, the battery life of this laptop is very bad. So it's five to six hours. So you can see, I, I put it over here. Right? <laughs> okay, now because I'm presenting, uh, but you can see Windows gives the battery remaining. One hour, 40 minutes left. And a 62% battery. It's actually very bad. Yeah, I think this laptop is not, they didn't optimize it well enough. Okay, then one major flaw I would say, right, for this laptop, for the earlier model, right, is that they have a very high current drain on RTC battery. So an RTC battery or RTC stands for real-time clock, Okay, so in most laptops and desktops, right, they have this RTC battery here to keep the bio settings there and keep the system clock running. Okay, so the problem with on the on the first version of the Prevo laptop is that this battery will completely drain in about 22 days. So after 22 days, right, if you don't use the machine, right, you try to turn it on again, right, it will not turn on. So in order to resuscitate the machine, you have to connect it back to the charger. But sometimes that wouldn't work at all. So then you need to do a main board reset. So the process of the main board reset is actually pretty troublesome. You need to dismantle the machine, take out RTC battery, disconnect the internal battery, and connect everything back. What's the capacity on that battery? Oh, the capacity is about 70 milliamp hour. So 17. But the drain is very high on this. There's a, some there's a design flaw right, right. in the motherboard. Okay. So then after that, you need to recharge the RTC battery over 24 hours. You need to leave the laptop on. So if let's say you turn on your laptop for only one hour, right? The RTC battery will not completely recharge. Then you end up, you may not even last 22 days. You may only last one more, one more day before the problem happens again. So this is a caution, right? So do not buy the first generation the framework laptop. Get the, the second one, it's fine. Okay, so I did a work around. Lah. So if the battery is too small, right? I put a bigger one there. So I, I had a hack for this. So what I, I took out the old battery, I put a new one. So the older one is 70 milliamp hour ML1220. So I take a bigger one, a 65 milliamp hour, and I solder it onto the spot, RTC battery spot there. And then I put it in my 3D printer case because it's still not that reliable. So I got a second motherboard. The old one I use as single board computer. So it just put it like that. Then now the this motherboard seems to be last quite longer, la, at least a one, one and a half months. Yeah. Okay. Of course, uh, with there are also many other community projects people have done, uh, okay? So because they open source their interface schematic, that is why people could do something with the main block, right? Someone go and put in the retro terminal, some with the frame deck, a tablet PC as well, and even someone swap the display to be an E-in one. Okay, I don't know how, how the person can tolerate the frame rate, uh, okay, <laughs> of that, yeah. But I think the battery life is definitely improved. <laughs> Okay, so let's say you really uh, like this machine, how to buy it, right? It doesn't ship to Singapore officially, only to these countries. So if you really want it, you need to use a freight forwarder, right? You can Google, there are several of the several freight forwarders, then you ship to Singapore. Of course, warranty might be a problem. Like any issue, you need to send back to them. But what you probably will do is that the spare, spare parts are available, right? You just ship the spare part to you. Uh, because you probably know how to fix the machine already. Okay, so uh, that's all. So I do have time for questions. Oh, no time really, 10 minutes, exactly. Okay, so yeah, that's all, thanks.